Day after day, the war in Ukraine is unveiling several issues on the defense sector of the West in general and the European Union in specific. What was the main issue this time is the resignation of the German Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht. This is a further complication that Scholz is to face in the next period in his position as Chancellor. The unwanted situation comes amid the continuous question over the German military abilities, especially that the country is required to continue its support for Kyiv. The defense minister informed me today that she no longer wishes to continue in her role. I have worked well and gladly with Christine Lambrecht for many, many years. And now during Russia's terrible war of aggression on Ukraine, the defense minister has shown tremendous commitment to ensuring that Germany moves on. After decades of stagnation to be able to make the necessary changes vital for our country's defenses, but also concretely for the support of Ukraine. The resignation of the German defense minister is not only a major issue for Ukraine, the European public opinion has also seen contrasting opinions over the endless support that the West is providing to Ukraine. Many reports have shown that even NATO capability of securing Europe remain in question. Furthermore, Europe is facing successive public refusal and demonstrations over the social and economic situation that Europe is facing. More trouble will engulf Europe as the U.S. Defense Secretary is expected to visit Germany for a conference in the next few days as part of his country's mission to discuss further support for Ukraine, including whether to send the German-built battle tanks. Ukraine's defeat may become a prelude to World War III. Therefore, today there is no reason to block support for Kiev, to procrastinate. Thus, I call for decisive actions by German government on all sorts of weapons to be delivered to Ukraine. The ground situation in Ukraine's eastern regions is worsening, and every day is pushing the country a step towards collapse. Europe, on the other hand, has found itself between the devil and the deep blue sea. Governments have found themselves obliged to continue the generosity in international military aid and also find a breakthrough from the economic and social crises for their own peoples.